Good morning, brothers and sisters. Rally do me this uh This is the day that the Lord has made. And uh, in it we are really blessed. I just want to indicate to you that uh, today is the second message of the fourth series that I said we are going to share with you. And but before we start, let us pray. Our Lord and Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this opportunity that you are giving us to preach your word. It is our prayer that you allow your Holy Spirit to guide and lead us. Give us the interpretation of your word, open our hearts and allow your word to minister unto us. We pray for this in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Um, just to recap, <clears throat> let me remind you of the seven things God did to raise and induct Saul to rise to the top and became the first king of the Israelites. <laughs> Uh, 
Maybe those who didn't uh, listen or watch our first uh, message. Bailing hore mutomung haba utuel la no hobona mulaita warona mumma sedinya ning. We'll be able to see where we started and where we are now. Bata kona hobona li hutra hore nir limokaye mir mokaye munakung yabe no. So when God raised soul to the top. Hamudimu utatusa so lo hore aye ko sikwe. There are seven things that I want to repeat that he did unto him. Number one, he anointed him through Samuel. Number two, that restoration. In other words, the donkeys that were lost were found, which is a sign of restoration. Number three, he was introduced to battle and worship and God's inquiry place. Number four, he was introduced to sharing because three men who, was, who were going to worship gave me two loaves and remained with one. Number five, he was introduced to fellowship and prophesying. This was shown when he, he joined a, proce a procession of the prophets. Number six, the Holy Spirit fell upon him and he started prophesying and changed into a different person. Number seven, all these signs confirmed his calling and that God was with him. Today we want to focus on why Saul fell and never rose again after ruling Israel for about 42 years. Because we are going to read from 1 Samuel chapter 13 from verse 1 to 15, uh, 33. But for the sake of time, we shall read only 8 up to 14 in Samuel chapter 13. Then we shall move on to read 15 from verse 1 um, and continue with that. Lekwalo la ka jeno re tlo le fumana mo bokeng ya mathomo ya Samuel le kaolo ya le somele boraro re tlo e buisa temane ya mathomo fitla masoma a mabedi le boraro fela ka ntleng ya nako re tle go buisa o tloga mo temane ya borobedi o fitla ya le somele bone me re tla ya go Samuel wa ntla kaolo ya le somele botlano go simolla mo temane ya mathomo me Samuel kaolo ya ntla Samuel wa ntla kaolo ya le somele boraro temane ya borobedi e buise ha ka mantsweke a Saulo a latela nako e be ilweng ke Samuel malatsi a supa me Samuel a se ka tla kwa gile gale janong ya re morafe o phatlalala o motlohela Saulo a re ntlisetseng setlhabelo sa piso le ditlhabelo tsa tebogo a ba dira setlhabelo sa phiso ya re e le gona a fetsang go dira setlhabelo sa phiso a bona sa moele a tla soule a ya go a ya go mo go mokhatlantsa le go modumedisa me sa moele a botsa a re o dirile eng soule a re irile ke bona morafe o phatlalala o ntlogela 
Mi wena o satle ka nako ewe ilwe. Ba filista ba nse ba pute hile kwa mbiche maasi. Karja numba filista ba ta nkwela mono kile khali ki isi ki kopibu pilikomuhi momorene ing. Ka nambe za pilu ka dira se kabelo sa piso. Me sa mwele a raya sa ulo ari. Udirile ka bu silu. Ka wa tseke za taolo ya mrena. Mudimu wa hako. E hula e a hula e ting. Hune fo mrena akabo atuma misite. Boho si jwa hako mo israeleng. Kabu sa kuting. Temane yale sumele bwone ya bofelo. Meja anum boho si jwa hako e. Boho si jwa hako. Kabu kita bo tomama. Mrena ose ta ipatete mwona yo ukwa nang lipelo ya hako e. Ibile morena umulaite khuna mwetele di pile wa murafe wa hawe khune wena hawaka wa tsegetsa tse morena u di golaetse eng We thank God for the reading of his word Relabo he relabo ha modimo ka palo ya lentswe from where we have read khutlo ha mo re buisitseng we see the first test of soul obedience to God Re bona tiko ya mathomo ya ga soule go suutlwele modimo I repeat we see the first test of soul disobedience of God's word Re bona ntla ya mathomo ya ga soulo ya se ya go se o ba mele mola wa modimo from where we have read go tswa mo re we see soul at Gilgal Rebona Saulo ale ko gile gale he was gathered there with his men one a khobokane mo le bana ba ga many people were gathered at Gilgal but ho ba bantsi ba ne ba khobokane ko gile gale because they were waiting for someone to come to do the sacrifice ka go ne ba ne ba emetse samwele gore a tlo dira sthabelo from where we have read here go tswa mo re buisitse mo from verse 8 The Bible says he waited for seven days the time appointed for Samuel but Samuel did not come to Gilgal and the people began to sleep away from Saul Une I met Samuel matsatsi a le supa a o neng a beilwe me batho ba ile ba robala ka go ne na go ene setse fitile says Saul said bring the bring me the, the sacrifice here to me and the offering of well-being and he offered the bent offering Samuel le wila Saul le wila re ntlisetse se tlabelo tsa piso le ditlabelo tsa piso me wila di ra tlabelo that was after Saul realizing that the people were started to moving away from him Mekanako e o Saulo wila le mo ha gore batho ba setse ba simolla go mokatoga So after realizing that he will remain with few people he decided to do what he was not supposed to do Me ila le mo ha gore go tlobe go setse batho ba le ba ba nnye ka palo me a simolla go dira se o aneng a sa tshwanela go sidira According to God's structure during that those days ho ya ka taelo ya modimo ka nako eo the prophet was the only one who was supposed to do the sacrifice mo prophet a ne le ena a le mongwe fela yo tshwanetseng go dira sthabelo it was not the duty of the king to do the sacrifice in a sitiro ya khosi go dira sthabelo so In verse 10 the Bible says as soon as he had finished offering the bent offering Samuel arrived and Saul went out to meet him and salute him Timana ya le soma ere morago ha gore a fetse go dira se tlabelo Samuel o ile a tla me Saulo a ya go mokhatlantsa and Samuel said in verse 11 what have you done Saul Saul replied Timana ya le somele bongwe Samuel o re o dirileng now listen to what uh, uh, Saul's answer was o tlwela karabo ya ga Saul when i saw that the people were sleeping away from me 
and that you did not come within the days appointed, and that the Philistines were mastering at Mishmash. Irile kibo na murafu patalala untrohela mewe na usate kana kuhewe ilwe ba Philista bantu ba pute hile kwa mihema asi kikarabo ya hasolo. I said, now the Philistines will come down upon me at Gilgal, and I have not entreated the favor of the Lord. So I forced myself and offered the burnt offering. Me utwa lapili saulo ari, kareja numba Philista bata nkwela mono hile khali. Kise kiboni kikupibu pelu tromuhi mumureneng. Me ka name tapi luka dira sikabelo. Sapiso. He says, I forced myself. Ori ki kapeledite. Here we see souls in patience. Mo rewana soulo asena alebuka asena huye huye ma. He had to wait for somewhere to come. Ori atanete aemele samwele huta. And after seven days, he realized Samuel was not coming. When Samuel was on his way, he saw people leaving the place and said to himself, let me now do what I am not supposed to do. Then he forced himself to do the bench offerings. I that, that, that was the first test that Saul failed. In a El Solo. I painting. As a man of God, he should have waited for someone to come and perform his duty. But then some Samuel responded to his actions. Verse 13, Samuel said to Saul, You have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord your God which he commanded you. The Lord will have established your kingdom over Israel forever. Morena akabo atoma misite bohosi baha hodi. Verse fourteen. But now your kingdom will not continue. Tumana yali sumele bonge, le sumele bone. Mija anu bohosi yaha ho. Kabu kikabu toma. The Lord has sought out a man after His own heart. Morena usete ai patete mona. And the Lord has appointed him to be ruler over His people. Ibile Morena umulaete huna muete ledi pili wamurafe waha. Why? Huring because you have not kept what the Lord have commanded you. Hune we na hawaka watiheta te Morena udi hulaeti. Samuel ye became very open to to Saul, King Saul. Me more wana Samuel apata ana pata lata mobile hakosi Saul. You have done foolishly by doing the, the offerings. By doing so, you did not keep God's commandment for you. You disobeyed God. Why did you do that? Because you have done that. Your kingdom is going to be taken away from you. Your kingdom will not continue. God has already found somebody to replace you. So, Saul failed the first test. But God gave him another opportunity. 
Memo de Mui Lamo Fasabaka Hape. A second assignment or the second test. We Lamo Fati Abubi to see whether he will pass the test. Hore Abono Hore Ucha Palola to go a. The second test was given to him as, as we read from First Samuel chapter 15. Me te ko ya bobe di haribu isa mo Samuel wa matomo te man kaulo ya le somele botlano when we read from first samuel from fifth chapter 15 from verse 1 haribu isa mo te maneng go tlo ha te maneng ya ntla Saul was given on an opportunity to fight the Amalekites so lo we feel o feel tshone ya go ro a lwele ba maleke and we read from verse 1 that Samuel said to Saul Rebala mute maning yamatomo, Samuel will armusoul. The Lord sent me to anoint you king over his people Israel. It was like a reminder. Mutimu wile and tumela muhu ena hurri, kike go hutza huna kosi. Une amuhakol launa muhuputa. Now, therefore, listen to the words of the Lord. Kahuriano utwela lensula mutimu. That says the Lord of hosts. Mudimo ore mohuena. I will punish the Amalekites for what they did in opposing the Israelites when they came out of Egypt. Keta ota ba maleke kahune ba ileba hatela ba Israel habato ko ehepita. Now go and attack the Amalekites and utterly destroy all that they have. Iya ota ba ileba maleke. Me ufele uba fete luhu sinya semwe le semwe se uba na lisona. Do not spare them, but kill both men and women, child and infant, ox and sheep, camel and donkeys. Oste ike wa tuhela sipe, bulaya semwe le semwe ikana wana, ikana musadi, ikana di ethele, and the message was very clear. Destroy all. That's why I call this the second test. If Saul can, Saul can pass this test. I believe his kingdom will have continued. From verse 4 we, we read. So Saul summoned the people and numbered them in Teline. 200,000 foot soldiers and 10,000 soldiers of Judah. Kifa Saulé akuwa banna. Ababala kwa telaimbe. Ele badi nao, bale dikete te makolo amabe edi lebanna ba juta, bale dikete te le some. Verse 5 says, Saul came to the city of the Amalekites and lay in wait in the valley. Timana ya butano ya re soulo afika, kwa mushate waba amaleke, abaya ba leveledi momo la pom. And verse 7 indicate that, Saul defeated the Amalekites from Havila as far as Shur, which is east of Egypt. And verse 8 says, He took King Agag of the Amalekites alive, but utterly destroyed all the people all the people with the edge of the sword. The mana ya burobedi ere atwara aha kosi ya ba maleke asante apela me anyele za murafe oche kabo hale jwa chaka jaka kuto ya mudimo. Now look at verse 9. Are libe lente mana ya burobung. This is a key verse here. Me te mana eki ya burobung. Because it shows us whether the king Obeyed the commandment of, of the Lord. Verse 9 says, So and the people sped Agag. And 
and the bells of the sheep, of the cattle, and of the fatlings, and the lambs, and all that was valuable, and will not utterly destroy them. All that was despised and worthless, they utterly destroyed. Now, verse 9 shows exactly how soul disrespected or disobey God's commandment. Remember what Samuel, Samuel said to him. He said to him, make sure that you destroy all. But when Saul looked at the king, and he looked at the fat sheep and goat and cattle. And he said to himself, These I cannot destroy. These are good. We cannot destroy this. On the other hand, he looked at those Learn once. The worthless ones. Those he destroyed. He had nothing to do with them because he didn't want them. But the issue is. Verse 9 shows that he totally disrespected and disobeyed God's words. Verse 10 says, The word of the Lord came to Samuel now. I regret that I made Saul king, for he has turned back from following me. He did not carry out my commands. Samuel was angry and he cried unto the Lord the whole night. Trying to intervene and help and, and ask God not to destroy. So, but God's message here was very clear. He says to Samuel, I regret why I made him king. He had been, he had been king for more than 40 years and he was doing well. But what is happening now is he has turned back from following me. And if he is turned back from following me, it means now he is following his own desires. His will is to be done, it is done, not my will. Verse 12 says, Samuel rose early in the morning to meet Saul. Samuel And Samuel was told Saul went to Carmel where he set up a monument for himself. Look what happened here. Immediately after defeating the Amalekites. Saul was so impressed by the victory he attained. 
Penyo yeo aifumani. According to him, it was his victory and not God's victory. Ho ya kae na ine ili penyo ya hawe. Isi nyamudibu. Even though God told him he is going to hand over the Amalekans unto his hands. Le hamudimu umuleleze. So immediately thereafter, he, he didn't even go to God to say, Thank you, Lord. Immediately went up to Carmel. When he reached Carmel, the Bible said he set up a monument for himself in his own honor. That was a great sign of the pride that Saul had during that time. Instead of thanking God and acknowledge the victory he has given him. What is was important for him was for him to set up a monument for himself. So that everybody can see that he was a great king. Verse 13, the Bible says, when Samuel came to Saul, Saul said to him, May you be pleased, my Lord. I have carried out the command of the Lord. Listen to this, brothers and sisters. Listen to King Saul here. When he sees Samuel the prophet, he tells him the lie. He say, may you be, be blessed by the Lord. Please know that I have carried out the command of the Lord. Remember here we're talking about the man of God who was anointed. The man of God who was filled by the Holy Spirit. The man of God who walked with God for more than 40 years. Doing the right thing. Now he is telling a lie. I have carried out the command of the Lord. Then in verse 14, Samuel said to him, What then is this bleating of sheep in my ears and the lowing of cattle that I hear? And Saul so said, They have brought them from the Amalekites, for the people spare the best of the sheep and the cattle to sacrifice to the Lord your God. But the rest we have utterly destroyed. Saul Araba Ari, Baditeri, Kwahuba Maleke, Hone Banabareke, Hetzi Dinku. Now let, let, let us look at the verse 15 clearly. Let us look at, at, at the king's response here. King so now start blaming his people for the actions. He didn't say, I am sorry for what happened. He says the people spend the best of the sheep and the cattle in order for them to sacrifice them unto the Lord. Now, 
hore ba direse khabelo go modimo but the rest we have destroyed totally destroyed me tse di ngwetse di nyeleditse but look this this statement is contradicts the first the one which said i have carried out the commandments of the lord me ha o e e khathanong le ya mathomo ya ibuletseng hore ke dira ga ditse taelo ya modimo ya hore ke nyeletse tsotsotse that why that's when we see that things have started going wrong now with this king me ke mo re bona hore di lo di tsa di thoma go tsama ya ka mokhosa siamang mokhosing he started now following his own will and not god's will o thoma go sala tsela ya gae morago e seng ya modimo then when this then then someone said to Saul stop I will tell you what the Lord said to me last night. He replied, "Speak." The man a yabo ne sume le borata rokere ke fa Samuele a moraya are ikete ke go bolelele se morena a letseng a tsibua le nna botsi go njono. Verse 17 Samuel said, "Though you are little in your own eyes, are you not the head of the tribe of Israel?" Dimana ya le somele busupa ya Samuel a re a ga ke re o tlhogo ya ditsotsa Israel le fa o ikaya yo matlana in other words here Samuel again was reminding him of what the Lord has done for him ha pe mo re bona Samuel a mo gopotsa se o modimo o modiretseng so you must remember the Lord anointed you king over Israel o tshwanetse o gopole gore modimo o go Kodite go na khosi ya Israel and in verse 18 and the Lord sent you on a mission and said go utterly destroy the sinners the Amalekites and fight against them until they are totally consumed the mana ya le somele borobedi e re le gona morena o rumile are ya o dira patse khutso ya modimo mo ba le o fimbale mo go ba maleke o tlhabane nabo go go tsamaya o ba fedise why did you not obey the voice of the lord ke kan khaya eng o sa o ba mela lentswe la modimo that was samuel's problem why didn't you obey the voice of the lord me botata ba samuel e ne le gore ke kan khaya eng o sa o ba mela lentswe la modimo i like samuel he was honest this man spoke the truth ke rata samuel mo nona le nete o bolela nete as the bible tells when you speak the truth the truth the truth will set you free me ya ka o bua ga o bua nete nete e tla go lokolla why did you soup down on the spoil and do what was evil in the sight of the lord ke kan khaya eng o dirile se sempe mo le thakoreng la modimo In, when 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 Samuel was saying this was saying this me said Samuel na tsubulela ke he was giving him an opportunity to repent ona mo fanako ya gore a a bue e e a itshole a tsokologe but Saul never 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 regretted empa Saul o ha ka ikwathaya we see it in verse 20 when Saul said that to some to Samuel re bona temane ya masuma ba be di Saul o ha re ho Samuel showing something like stubbornness a bona bo pelo ithata he said to Samuel i have obeyed the voice of the lord o re kana ke u tlile lentswe la moren i have gone to the mission on which the lord sent me ke tsene tseleng e modimo o nthumile mo go yona i have brought agag the king of amalek and i have utterly destroyed the amalekites ke tlisitse a ga ge khosi ya ba amaleke me ba amaleke bona ka ba bolaela ruri ka khutso ya modimo and if you can see here he is repeating exactly what he said in verse 13 how ka levela se ke seo a neng a se boeletsa Mutimani ya le somele borara showing his stubbornness one a bontsa bo pelo ithata ba hai he never never regretted what he was saying me ha ka bontsa ho itshola mo se wa neng a tsibua so he repeated i have obeyed the voice of the lord when he knew he didn't obey the way we le abuele tsa gore 
But from the spoils, the people took the sheep and cattle, the best of the things devoted to destruction, to sacrifice to your Lord, to your God at Gilgal. <laughs> Here, Saul stands on his ground. He was repeating what he said in verse 15. Mo, so no one up well later. So, aning asabulela mutumani yale sumele bura lebuchano. He continued to blame the people for his own sins. Otswela hubaya. He forgot that the instruction was not given to the people, but they were given to him as the head of the Israelites. So he continued to be stubborn. And then Samuel went on to say in verse 22. Has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices? As in obedience to the voice of the Lord? Surely obedience is better than sacrifice. And to heed than the fat of rams. 23. For rebellion is no less a sin than divination. 23. And stubbornness is like iniquity and idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord. He has also rejected you from being king. Can we think how stubborn Saul was here. But Samuel here tried to explain to him. So that he may understand that God does not delight in bent, bent offering and sacrifices. What is important to God is obedience. When you listen and obey God's word, that is what God wants from you. Don't you know that Obedience is better than all these sacrifices that you're talking about. Ah, now you are a rebeller. You are rebelling now. You are rebelling. You don't want to do God's word. Do you know that rebellion is no less than the sin of fortune telling? Witchcraft. So you are exactly the same like the witchcraft. You are doing like them. You are not better than them. And because you are continuing being stubborn, God rejected you from being the king of the Israelites. Verse 24, Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned for I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord and your words because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. Mana Yamusumama de Livone, Kefasaule Araya Samuel Ari. 
ke la ufile go nne ke tlodile mo taolo ya morena le mafoko a gago ka go nne ke bo ifile batho ba ka utlwa mantswe a bona but look at this, uh, this, this confession of soul o tla bo ipolelo bo ba soul it was not a genuine confession in a se bo ipolelo ba nete in the sense that ka gore after saying i have sinned he continued to say he, to give reasons why he sinned he said i have sinned because i feared the people and obeyed their voice wile la mathomo a ipona phoso me a leka u fana ka mabaka gore o ne a tshaba banna ba ka go ne ba 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 tla mmolaya he didn't know that confession followed by a reason cancels itself me o ne a sale muheri bo ipoleno bo bona le mabaka ha bo ka e se ipe so you can say i've sinned then you say i've sinned because of so and so o ka se re ke le o file me morago wa re ke le o file ka le baka le 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 so his his confession became became useless me bo ipolelo ba hae ba fetsa bo sna bo kao that in verse 25 the bible says now therefore i pray pardon my sin and return me and return with me so that i may worship the lord me janung a go in tsarele bo le o jwame o bo elena gore ke o bomele more this this verse 25 also shows that he was his his confession na ya mam soma mabedi le botlhalo e ne bontsa gore o ne a sna bo nete ka bo ipolelo ba hae he says Uh, I pray pardon pardon my sin now return with me no he's adding more things return with me so that I may go to worship the lord ore in tsarele empa morao ha mo are tsamaya lenna gore ke go ba mela modimo i'm going to worship the, the the lord so please help me to go to honor god for the victory that i have attained ke ba ta go ba mela modimo no mo halaletsa fela ke koparo o tsamaya lenna Hore re ilo go go beha ka phenyo yo a re feeling yo So to Saul what was important was not about this for he seemed to be forgiven but to continue to thank God for the victory he has been given Me re bona Saul hore maitlomo le maikemisetswa a hae e ne tse go kopa tsarelo me ona a libisitse ko tlholo and what he was saying was really contradictory you know during the old testament when people were sorry of their sins mo testamenteng ya khale ga batho ba ne ba itshola se o ba se dirileng they will take off the, the nice clothes and put on some tattered clothes and they smear themselves with dust and so on something like that bane ba ga go la diaparo tsa bona ba apara diaparo tsa khale ba itshela ka le rone mo se fatlo go mo tlhole mo mmele and he soul also knew about that me soul o na itse ka se but he didn't he never did that me ha dira ya no he simply said let's continue to go to the lord i want to honor god me we la bulala felar e e tsa maya le nna re go modimong ke batla go bo go mo obamela look at what uh, samuel says in verse 26 o tla mo te maneng ya masoma ba be di le borataro samuel o ri and samuel said to saul i will not return with you for you have rejected the word of the lord me samuel a fetola saul a re ga nkitla ke bona ao e re ka o nya di tsele foko la morena le morena o go lakile gore o se tlhole o nna khosi ya israel yeah and the lord has rejected you from being the king of israel e modimo o go lakile go nna khosi ya israel so samuel said to him very clearly I will not return with you I'm not going with you Samuel we la totobatsa gore nka se tsamaile wena Verse 27 that as Samuel turned to go away the man ya masoma ba be di le bosupa ere brothers and sisters listen that listen to what we're going to read now Bomele mo ntate ke rata ke kopa rutlo le seri ya ngo tshi buisa I will see the real soul now the, mm. the real character of soul me o tlo bona soul o ka bo wena mo temaneng e and as Samuel tend to go away 
thorn caught hold of the hem of his robe and it tore. Yare Samuele Aretoloha Are Watamaya Saule Amutara Tamuja Wakubo Yahwe Mia Haho. Just imagine this. Nahana Sepe. The old man Samuel is turning away from Saul. Munamuholo Samuele Waretoloha Moho Saul. And the king caught him by his robe. Mekosi emutara kasi aparosa ha. He grabbed the rope, chara kubo yena. Pull him amoho until it was torn. Mia ha A very act of stubbornness. Inelisi supo sabo pelui tata lilinyat. That's how the character of soul was during that time. Hore soul lo kabo yena one ali yang. And someone said to him, Samuele Armuena, for the action that you have done now, Morena, make us so see the ruling. The Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you this very day and has given it to another, a neighbor of yours who is better than you. Morena, Uha Hosebu Hosi, Joa Israele, Mohuena Kajeno, Obunela, Yomongwe. You see a member who look when it's painful. You do some talk. A man who was anointed by God. Mona, you are not going to do it. We are A man who was filled by the Holy Spirit. Mona, you are not a Christian. We are all with help. Now he can see that he is filled by another spirit. Me rabo na huru uketi kamu ya umu. Spirit of lies. Moya wa mata. Spirit of stubbornness. Moya wa piluitata. What do we learn from this? Rituta ingmo. Brothers, this is what do we learn from so? Komele muntate rituta ingmo. When God has done everything to make sure that his kingdom continues. Hore mudimu udirile semwe le semwe. Hore bohosi bane hodimu mutuwa lapili. Number one, point number one. Of what we learn from this. This obedience of God's words. In fact, this obedience of God's word cuts across all his actions. In, in, in other words, the spirit of disobedience was so rife in Saul's heart. And the unlawful sacrifice he did was the first test of his impatience and disobedience. Bear yet he continued to do that. That was a disrespect and disobedience. Brothers and sisters. If we really want to be real Christians in today, right? we must be obedient to God's word. We must live by God's word. We must apply God's word in our daily life. This obedience will do injustice to us to us seko dira gore go ske go nna le eh eh semolao mo go rona another problem that we see here from king soul se se mo hape se re se bona mo go khosi soul the fear of the people o tsaba ba whenever he responded eh se mo hongwe le ngwe ya hae he kept on saying the people are the ones who took this God, this animals or this for, for, for a sacrifice. Ori, batuba, 
batseri di polo holo tse batseri ing go nna di tlabelo in verse 24 he says i feared the people and obeyed their voices ke mana ya masoma ma bedi le bona ere ke ne ke tshaba batho ba me ke ile ka utlwella mantso ya bona brothers and sisters do you know that fear is the opposite of faith bommele bontate la it's or nar le tsoho ke bontla bo bo kantlela ga tumelo if we really want to live in accordance with god hi le sai no re re batla go phela go ya ka lentso la modimo fear must never be our vocabulary le tsoho ga la tshwanela go nna teng mo go rona so All the times when ah Samuel was asking why did you do why did you do this he kept on saying I fear the people I fear the people ka dina go tsotsotlhe ha Samuel a motsa hore ke ka ntla ya eng o dirile yana le yana o re ke ne ke tshaba batho ba ke ne ke tshaba batho ba brothers and sisters do you fear the people putao ya modimo e ratehang a o tshaba batho if you fear the people how tshaba batho you will never leave the will of of the, of the o, will of god ka se ke wa phela go ya ka mokho ka thato ya modimo you will never do the will of god if you fear people o ka se ke wa dira thato ya modimo ha o tshaba batho point number 2 ntla ya bobedi pride le koko why did king saul spared king agag ke ka ntla ya eng khotsi soulo a ile a bolo ka bophelo ba khotsi a gagwe listen to this o tlwela mo he spared king agag because during that time captured kings were a prized trophy of war o bolokile bophelo ba khotsi a gagwe ka go nne ka nako eo ga ne o thupile khotsi phela ene ele ntatwa e kholo ya go bontsa tholo he wanted all the people to see that he was the victor one arata gore batho ba bothe ba bone gore ena ke mofenyi and agag was just a trophy to say look at how powerful i i was ene agage ene ele eh 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 trophy e we bontsa gore na ke na le matla so Saul developed a pride. Saul re bona ana le le koko. He only focused on himself. O lebeletse mo go wena. He always wanted people to see how great he was. Ka dina go tsotlhe o ne a batla batho ba bone gore ko mo golo bo kanang ka. It's not that he didn't hear the message that he should kill every boy everyone. I say hore ha o tla mo laetsa wa hore a nyeletse sengwe le sengwe but in his mind he said if i kill agag then it, i won't show i won't have a trophy to show make a mo tlalo hanyong ya hae o ile a ipotsa hore hanka bolaya a gage ga ona se supo se se tlo bontsang hore ke tlotse and again to spare the best of amalek is surely equivalent to sparing some root of evil and some favorite sins in our lives mitseo se se bontshang gore o ile a boloka tse di nonne tsa ga ba ba amalek se bontsha bo ikhogomotso ba di lo tse di leng ka mohare ha rona we as good children rona re le bana ba modimo when we turn to god ha re re tlohela go modimo Didn't we spare some roots of evil or some favorite sins in our lives? Ah, ha gona dingwe tsa tibetse o re di ratang re di bolokile na. And if we continue to live me ha re tswela pele ka go phela yalo. Accommodating those old sins that we favor. Hore re 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 khobokanye le go sirelletsa dibitse o re di rata we are not doing good to ourselves ha re direle bolo holo we are also not doing good to our lord me ha re direle le holoka ko modimong wa rona another thing that i want us to look at sense and secret and go re se level it shows that this man had great pride sense one thing go re monno o na ana le le koko le le holo Immediately after v- the victory at Carmel, uh, at the victory of killing the Amalekites, Morahonya na fela hore abolel abolae ba Amaleke. He went up to he went up to Carmel. 
Wile anamela ya kiramel. And set up a monument for himself. Me adira se hopoto sa peyo. For his own glory and not for the glory of God. Mr. Hopoto se u ene ele kaena. That was a sign of the pride that he had. He never grieved over his sin. He was, he was very pleased of what he was doing. So that's why God said, this one, no, he can't continue to be the king of over my people. Another thing that we learn here, number three. It's stubbornness. The spirit of stubbornness. Imagine pulling him, pulling and tearing someone's robe and Nahana. forcing him to Nah worship. Nahana. Nahana. And grabbed it until it was torn. I hope who fit a hahoha. That was a sign that this man had no respect at all. In a little super sahur muno ana tompo lisi. He had no respect of the the Samuel, the man of God. One asa tompe Samuel muna wamudim. Brothers and sisters, bome limontate. I want to call upon you to say, if you know men of God, respect them. Don't do this that Saul was doing to Samuel. So things had really changed in this man's life. Another example that we see here of his stubbornness. After David killed Goliath. And women started singing of his victory. Saul became angry and jealousy of David. He tried several times to kill him. You know, he was so, 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 so bad that even the man of God, Samuel, was now afraid of him. When God sent him to anoint David, someone said, if Saul hears about it, he will kill me. Ha! Mudimo oraya Samuel hore ayotrota dafita. Merebona Samuel lara mudimo re. Ha! Saulo aka ukwa se. Wile humpolaya. Remember we are talking here about the man that God brought up to the highest level. Humpolang hore mo. Rebole la ka mwana. O mudimo amutule di ting. And for more than 40 years, that man was faithful to God and doing God's will. But the spirit of obedience, of disobedience, and pride. Moya wa hose oba mele. Le moya wa bui kohomoso. Developed in him. I want to say this in conclusion. Saul's disobedience. Fear of the people. Pride. Focusing on his own glory and not God's glory. Jealousy of David's victories. This respect of Samuel the, the prophet. Samuel prophet. And lack of true repentance. Let to his own downfall. Who can he could not blame anyone for his downfall? If you and me are not wise, 
We shall fall from grace in the same way. Ritawa. Katsila etwanang. It is my prayer that we introspect our hearts. Against these kinds of evil. And repent. God is always ready to forgive us. Jesus' blood was shed for the cleansing of our sins. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Are rapeling. Huena Jehova. Yo lele kodimong. Wena mudimu wa Israel. Wena mudimu wa Jacobo. Mudimu wa ka ke le thabo le le kana ka mo mosongwa le tsatsile. Hare bula matho ke ditaba tse o re di bolellwang mudimo. Tse o ditswang mo le kwalong la ha go mudimo wa rona. O re buletse masaitsi boeng a le godimo. Ka gore bontsha gore hara sa ikoba mele mo go wena. E bile re sa inya tse ka dipetse o re di dirang. E bile re tletse boikhogomoso. Re tletse go se thompe. Re tlo re ile go nyelediwa. Re ka sekhone go tswella go nna bana ba hago. Ka go nne bo inya tso ba rona e se ba nete. Modimo wa ka ke a le boga go tlo mantswe a. Ke mantswe a wa lenteng ka mohare ha buka ya hao ya bophelo. Emba go na le dinako tse dingwe ha re abuisa. Re abuisa ya ka buka. E nang le molaetsa o monate emba molaetsa o e tsomo maphelong a rona. Me ke na le nete modimo wa ka hore mo mosongwa le tsatsile. Mongwe le mongwe yo o tlwelletseng lo libileng. O khone go tlhalohanya le go bona boleng le botlhoko ba molaetsa ha o gore ha modimo a o beile go se tlhoeng o dira thato ya hahe o tshwanetse o tswelle ya lo go dira tshe modimo se batlang me o seke wa lebella wena o seke wa nna le boikhogomoso ka gore modimo tla go tlosa ma go beile mmotse modimo a ka ke a le boga se o fatsa moruti wa rona Yo kile ngwa mo fa mantswi yo kile ngwa mo fa bokhone yo kile ngwa bua le yena modimo aka gore mo mosongo a tlo re tsholela molaetsa o o re rotloetsa molaetsa o re empowerang gore re ne ba creste ba nete gore re ne ba creste ba o ba matafaditswe eng ke moya o buitsepo modimo aka mo se go fatse o mo atisetse ha mmohola pala ha ke rapela mongwe le mongwe modimo a ka yo na le rona mo se ba kense ke rapela mongwe le mongwe yo tla re mahapele ha iketlile a lebella a khashia tv mo youtube modimo a se go fale o mo matlafatse ene motho yo fe tu hileng matsa ma ya moteng a khone go bona hala gore o tloditswe ka moya o buitsepo modimo a ka nna le rona ke rapela khashia Kereke ya ha ho modimo ya o kileng wa ithoma ka lerato kereke e le mbethele mo re kopana moteng ha re tlo botsa dipotso mo re kopana moteng modimo ha re tlo halaletsa re se ke ra tshwana le soulo ha ya go hile hale a ilo ikahela se gopotso modimo a rona se gopotso sa rona a nna kereke ya ha o ya khashia e o ile mo re laela gore sonta ga ngwe le ngwe re kopane mo go yona ka morero o le mongwe fela e le go tlotlisa le go se go di sambuso wa ha modimo a ka re utlwe le botlhoko le kereke ya rona ha e le mo ka go sefsha restoration modimo a ka morao ha o re ifisiwe nna le ba diri ba o ba dira mo modimo a bona o ba fe bo tlhale o ba fe bo khone le khotlhello ya go dira tiro ya bona modimo a ka mme mona go nge sa fetseng pelo re khona go tsena ka mohare ha betele re bine di hallelujah modimo a ka re itumele 
ka go nne ko wena mogoludi wa rona e bile wa phela modimo wa ka rutlwele botlhoko o rutlwele botlhoko o rutlwele botlhoko modimo ka lebitso la mora ha o Jesu Kriste amen brothers and sisters bo me le bontate i invite you to listen to message number 3 it will focus on the rise of King David. Remember our main topic is the rise and fall of Saul versus the rise, the fall and the rise of King David. Le go wa ha ha he khathano le go tlatloga ga Davida le go wa ha ha he le go tlatloga hape let us receive the blessings from God are amoheleng tsogofatso may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit abide with us all now and forevermore amen